What's up, everybody? Steven C. Killer, and if you did not see my last reaction, which was Piccolo versus the Martian Manhunter of Cartoon Fight Club, uh, just a quick note: computer fucked. If you didn't see it, go check that out. Computer got fucked up, lost lots of lots of things, had to reinstall things, and some of the stuff I did lose outside of having to just reinstall certain things. I lost footage of Lucario versus Ryu and Lucario versus Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Lost the footage. Not gonna re-react. Know the winners. Not gonna be a surprise or anything like that, so I don't re-react to anything I already know about. So, sorry about that. Those fights aren't happening. I know who wins. Spoiler alert. Five, uh, four, three, two, one. Bloop. Uh, Foxy loses. And so does Lucario. So the, the winners of those fights were Ryu in the first fight, and then Lucario in the second fight. Sorry, I know. Uh, yeah, Link versus Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I don't know too much. I played a little bit of the first Kingdom Hearts. I never actually beat the game. I know, I know, that sounds surprising, but when I was a kid, I played it. I thought it was okay. My sister was really into it, but it wasn't my kind of... I, I, I just didn't enjoy it as much as maybe some people. And I never actually had the chance to beat it. And uh, never even played the second one. So I don't know what uh, Sora's abilities are. I know he's uh, he can be very powerful. And it's just like a Disney version of um, Final Fantasy. So I'm going to have to go with my, my choice, I guess, would be Link. Just because I know a lot more about Link than Sora. And who knows? I don't even know what the version of Link they're going to use because there's so many different versions. So let me know in the comment section who you are voting for in this fight. And uh, yes, I already know the next fight uh, is uh, Popeye versus Saitama. So I'm going to get to that right after this. And hopefully you guys are looking forward to that because I'm looking forward to that fight. That fight seems interesting. And you guys probably already know I'm going to be on Saitama's side over Popeye. Uh, <laughs> and uh, without any more delay, we're going to get in this fight by Animation Rewind. Link in the description. Check them out and subscribe to Animation Rewind. And enjoy this video right now. All right. So, I'm hyped. I know you guys are. Uh, hopefully, if you guys did see the last video, I did talk about me finally getting a new PC. And uh, it will be coming in the mail thanks to me buying it over online during Black Friday. Uh, around the 9th of December, it should be shipped to me, so sometime after the 9th, I What's should be up, getting everyone? it of December. Welcome to the 120th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm, I'm guessing the site has to build the PC, Rewind. which is understandable. And if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the And I the should be fight. working on getting Tonight's you guys some more Bubbles Big Adventure because I did hear you guys. So if you enjoy what you see, head on over to his channel and subscribe. For awesome, another new react, uh, another new um, animation and channel. Sora from Kingdom Hearts and the link we're using is going to be from the Ocarina of Time video game. Zelda's a oh, okay. first, so we can't just fuse them together. With all this being said, that is so let's fucking true. Cartoon Flight Club's 120th. But yeah, I'll be working on getting you guys some of Bobo's Big Back Adventure, the day, Sora and was uh, just your average island Look forward boy. to that. He would hang out with his friends Riku and Kiari, just chilling out in Destiny Island. However, this all changed the day a race of demons known as the Heartless came to attack. A huge storm during this struggle separated Sora. Oh, I remember friends, that area. Like I said, I played distress. a little bit of it, but However, I never like beat the game. There was a silver lining in the damage. Sora was gifted with a sacred item known as the Keyblade. I think that was like someone in the beginning of the game. Good for opening locks between worlds. They make great was the giant purple stairs of nothingness weapons. almost Each so you jump down or something. Each upgraded with a keychain that gives a blade an upgraded look and edge with this the really the, there's a keychain thing okay the can be enhanced and powered up so hmm. is extremely skilled with this blade Being yeah see uh, that's why i don't know too much i don't remember even Disney that multiverse battling against the heartless nobody's unversed and dream eaters 
Along with Sora's Keyblade, he's extremely skilled with handling magic. He knows many basic magic types, such as fire, ice, thunder, light, wind, time, magnetic. So he's gonna have multiple healing. different swords, are but are they any good Giving against a master the sword? To shoot fire and ice projectiles, having the magical ability to freeze time on enemies, attack metal objects magnetically, and create powerful wind gusts. Sora's most iconic form of magic is light. Well, light is a I think force, Link has a lot of items darkness. to go against that, except for the time stopping ability. Items. And is a source but of energy I think Sora maybe the Master Sword will negate with. that. With the light energy, Sora can blast light speed blasts, create large spherical explosions attacking in all directions. Holy shit, okay, maybe not all this. Boost his I was just thinking like the attacks. fire and ice attacks. Now, as powerful as Sora is, he does have his drawbacks. Sora almost never fights alone, and is usually assisted by his oh, friends during okay. battle. And he sometimes relies heavily on them to defeat larger and stronger foes. He's also not the brightest thinker around. Many times he needs tactical advice in order to end up victorious in his missions. Overall, Sora is an extremely All right. powerful kid. And, a and Link usually magic. fights on his own Sora most of the time, attack at light speed, with little help. But lacks sufficient solo skills and tactical decision making. He only relies on his own another, skills and let's tools. Discuss Link. Now before we get into Link, I think it's fair play to give some respect to the Ocarina of Time video game as a game. This was the very first game oh my to God. ever score a perfect 40 out of 40 in the Famitsu magazine and was declared the number one game of all time according to the G4 network. Now, clearly, <laughs> this Famitsu magazine and G4 Everybody fucking have loves ever played or classics of time. like the original CDI Zelda games. Finally, I'll take off my clothes. Because those games were without a doubt the best Zelda games of all time. That's not my opinion. That's a provable fact. That was what hey, the look. fuck moment. Then you can beat off and come onto Ganon's beautiful face. <laughs> But let's get back to Link. Link's arsenal is yeah. always equipped with class. CGI Link game, uh, thing. Bombs. Oh my or aside, Whatever that's fucking called. Useful gear. I don't know. Gauntlet, Link can lift People had some fun with the audio with that. Nothing. With the Gora and they tunic, made a giant Link can meme. survive extreme heat. And with the Zora tunic, Link can breathe underwater indefinitely. With Link's assortment of bombs and arrows, he also has a very useful range game to attack enemies from a distance. Oh Link yeah, now he won't even like. Oh, imagine he, if he had sword. also like the These Majora have Mask much the stuff. the same gimmick as <laughs> most of the other Hellion shields and Master Swords. You know, they're the most sacred weapons in Hyrule, and only those who are worthy can pull them from their locked positions. So yeah, nothing new here. With the Triforce of Courage, Link is blessed with an extremely brave spirit. He fears nothing and is willing to fight till his last breath. This allows him for someone at his young age to explore new areas and take on the most fierce enemies without having a sway of emotions to bring <laughs> him down. Link is also one of the most skilled fighters in all of Hyrule. He almost never needs help waging his battles and defeated warlords such as Ganon. Yeah. Keep in mind as powerful as Link is, his skin can still be pierced by many blades, and he's by no means the most powerful incarnation of Link in the whole multiversal time. Definitely not. Overall, Link is a young yet highly skilled warrior who wields the Master Sword and Hylian Shield. While his body does have its physical limits, Hylian Shield is that how it's pronounced? I always call it the Hyrule uh, Shield. Now, let's get ready for when I was a kid, fight. and this even today, I think I always called it the Hyrule Shield. Hyrule without any prep. Let huh. the battle begin. I could be wrong. <laughs> Or I could just blame it on being a little bit dyslexic. Because I am a little bit. Did I fuck up on my wording? Alright. Ooh. This pixel animation looks nice. Come on, Link. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh! <laughs> he went, get over here. Damn. Don't tell me you're giving up already. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, Link. Is that all you got? Fuck him up. Oh, 
I don't know if the Keyblade can handle the Master Sword, honestly. Like, it's powerful, but... Ooh. Oh, shit. Just give it a rest. Okay. So, Link... Oh, wait. Does he have a fairy on him? Does Link have a fairy on him? That would be a tool that he's used. Those look like fairies. So Link lost. It's over. Okay. Oh. Random moan. Random sexual female moan. <laughs> And our winner is Sora. Now, before we okay. discuss why Sora wins, I want to give a huge shout out to the battle animator, Zeus McLaren. So, if you enjoyed what good you fucking saw, animation, head on guys, over to his channel check it. Yeah, subscribe. check out his channel. Now, let's discuss why Sora wins. Fucking well, amazing they work, have honestly. The edge of skill, experience, and tactical decision making. Sora simply outclasses Link in every other category. He's just that powerful. Well, except for fighting Link's by himself. Is only going to last him so long. While Sora, on the other hand, has a plethora of magic to attack Link with. Now, Sora's magic isn't unlimited by any means, but it's far more efficient, productive, and long-lasting than Link's arrows and bombs can ever be. Okay. Sora has been using, fighting, and dodging light speed magic for many years. Many characters in the Kingdom Hearts series have light speed reactions because of this. This will make oh, wow. it extremely hard for Link to huh. land any damaging blows on Sora, and then the flip side, Sora's magic is going to do some real damage towards Especially Link. Especially the time freezing Sora one. Sora can easily freeze time to freeze Link and go in for the kill. Sora can I was wondering if the Master Sword, since he it is a time kind of wielding weapons. thing, Sora can it use his is the magic with to blast the Master Sword. Link with I was wondering if that was going to negate it. That all. type of speed, Link most certainly will not be able to dodge. We've seen Link dodge many oh. sonic attacks, but light speed attacks are something that stabbed to the head, by. though. Sora also has healing magic. While Link may carry one or two heart potions or even a fairy with him, Sora's healing magic can be used much more often and works much faster. Okay, would that would have been nice to know at the beginning that he had a healing break factor. Break to heal his health. Sora or did I miss that? I might have missed that. I sometimes talk too much. Because a lot of people say do. that, but oh, did I, mention I just let whatever is on my mind. Time? Out! I know I did mention this, but if Link is frozen, I'm pretty sure it's going to be really hard for him to land heavy attacks on Sora. Yeah. But this Triforce doesn't seem complete. So if you want to see a three-on-three -three sudden death between Zelda, Ganon, and Link versus Sora, Donald, and Goofy, Team Light versus Team Triforce, all you gotta okay. do is like this video. If this video yeah, you guys want that fight to happen? Likes, there will be a Have that sudden death? Sudden go hit a 10,000 likes on his video. Link in the description. Go hit that like button and definitely subscribe for more. Fight Club. And if you don't subscribe and you want that fight to happen, how are you going to find out about it? Be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. This is just a weird, weird combo. Popeye versus One Punch Man. Oh my god. The mosquito. Uh, that is going to be an interesting fight, but I don't know how Popeye could even withstand a, a single punch from Saitama. Like, who knows? This could be a, an interesting fight, but I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's been a long, long time since I've seen anything Popeye related, and I know when he eats spinach he gets ultra powerful, but he honestly doesn't fight anything fucking earth destruction level or anything like that. I think in Popeye. I could be wrong. But I will have to find out in the next episode, and uh, that was some awesome art. So, uh, yeah, guys, 
Uh, check out the channel if you want more. Link in the description. And if you guys enjoyed my stuff, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Uh, re always recommend me stuff because even though I sometimes get backed up on things, I'll eventually get to the videos. And don't forget, if I haven't done a video and you've requested it, you can always re uh, ask in another one. Or this video. Just let me know. Sometimes it can happen. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to show up by punching that like button. And uh, look forward to anything else on my channel, gameplay and or reaction wise. So until next time guys, later. Thanks for watching this video everyone. Hope you enjoyed it and if you want more, check out the description below. Hope to see you guys in a later video. Also, have an awesome day.